And it's National Diaper Need Awareness Week and the St. Joseph Center in Dunmore held a diaper and baby wipe drive today. The center says that with the rising price of the essentials, they've seen more and more families turn to them for help. Fox 56's Alicia Hercules was there and joins us live with more Alicia. And during the drive today, the center says they collected over a thousand diapers, but with the growing need in the community, they expect those diapers to go fast. One in two families is that um, have diaper poverty where they can't afford the diapers. When you can't afford the diapers, you, you need diapers for daycare. You can't send your child to daycare. You miss out on you know your money from work. It, it's a very important thing, and I think sometimes people aren't aware of it that it's it, there is diaper need. Forty-seven percent of U.S. households with children under the age of four are experiencing diaper needs, according to the National Diaper Bank Network. The St. Joseph Center Baby and Children's Pantry served more than 3,000 families and distributed over 100. 30,000 diapers last year. And at Wednesday's drive, they collected over a thousand diapers. Oftentimes, when people think of diapers, they only think about infants or toddlers, but they're not the only ones who need them. Some families may need larger diapers for older children with autism or who are physically ill. Lauren Schaub, the attorney secretary for the St. Joseph Center, says that they're in need of diapers in all sizes, saying they make a major difference for those who need them. We have a lot of clients that come here and their response to us is that um, with us being able to help them with diapers, they're able to purchase other items that are so needed in the home. With getting the help of the diapers, if they have four children in diapers, then they're able to buy extra food. So it is a big impact in families. Volunteers will be outside of the center collecting those donations tomorrow at their Dunmore location from 9 to 4. Reporting live from the control room, I'm Alicia Hercules with Fox 56 News, first to 10.